No, not at all. I went down there in my official capacity as an assistant sheriff. Whether I said it with my mouth or wore a uniform, the end result was the same. I went down there to discuss a matter of public policy. So it was appropriate for me to be wearing my uh, uniform. Public policy versus political. Yes, there was no political speech. I didn't say don't endorse Bill Hunt. I said, please don't endorse anybody. The position's not even open. Is that the state AG's, although are you worried that that could derail your candidacy? This complaint, if you will, or the request for review, it's not like, well, call it what you want, appears. And it is drafted and signed by Bill Hunt's campaign manager. I think it's transparent what it is. Um, so will it impact me? You know what, all I can do is tell the truth. I hid nothing. I did it on video. Another reason I would think the board may not give you the nod is you're one of Mike's guys. And there's enormous pressure on them to clean up the sheriff's department. When Mike Corona announced his intention to retire, I met with the command staff. We all met together and we talked about his plan to retire. And that created a void. How are we going to fill it? That's what we do. We, we step up. And after a long discussion with the, my peers, the other assistant sheriffs and under Sheriff Galiski at the time, the consensus was that I should be the one who, sh who would step up and take the lead. To me, that meant a lot. That was my peers saying, you should lead the organization. We think you're the person that would best do it. Mike Corona was here for nine years. I've been here for 21. Doesn't it stretch credibility to think that the board, that a John Morlock would support going with an assistant sheriff who was elevated to sheriff, when the prior sheriff is indicted, his assist, one of his assistants convicted, wouldn't it be safer, uh, if not better policy, to go, say, to Santa Ana for a Paul Walters or to L.A. for a Ralph Martin? I'll point this out to you. The people that you talk about, Mike Corona, George Harlemio, and um, Heidel, were all outsiders. They're all gone. The original people who were here when Mike arrived are still here. None of them were involved in any indictments, any criminal charges. So to say that three people who came and have now gone shows that there's something systemic in the organization is a wrong conclusion. Um, it's one thing to come in as an outsider and try to do your best job. Your first thing is, where's the bathroom? Who are you and what do you do? And on it goes. I wouldn't have to do any of that. I can imagine some citizen supervisors are going to want you to say, stand in judgment of Mike Corona. What will you tell them about Mike's tenure? I'll tell you that Mike has a list of things that he accomplished while he was here and things that he gave the deputies that they never had seen before under the previous administration. Um, and he made a lot of inroads in the law enforcement community to bring this organization the resources it needed to accomplish its job. How do I stand in judgment of him as far as his management skills? I think they were excellent. How do I stand in judgment of him with regard to his um, allegations on the federal indictment? I think only Mike and God know that. 